Hello, can you believe the sitcom High Hopes was released 21 years ago? Many of us grew up attached to TV screens, so today I think it would be fun if you sat on a chair with your family and rewatched the TV series with the entire cast of then and now. Let's see what these actors are now, who has made it to the top of Hollywood and who has passed away. Find the answer in our video. Karen Sell was born on August 17, 1971, in Newport, Wales, UK. He played the character PC Claude Cox in the sitcom when he was 31 years old in 2002. Now he's living up at 52. He boys to look down and unlike. The only people he won't pick on is someone who can fight back. They're cowards, they are, boys. I best to keep stum about it, but This is a nightmare, this is. How can I involved and yeah. did stuff over again over lockdown when we could go out and just keeping distance and then care margaret john was born on december 14 1926 in swansea wells she played the character ma'am in the sitcom when she was 76 in 2002 we regret to inform you that in 2011 she passed away at 84 leaving us deeply saddened having a talk in the bin room mrs everwhite oh that's nice it's good of the council to have a place where young people can smoke their marijuana. Eh? Welsh costume, but my sister Myra and I, we never had uh, the top hat Welsh costume. We used to have the little cockle hats, like the pink haired women. Di Butcher was born on June 2nd, 1959, in Port Talbot, Wales. She played the character Mrs. Coles in the sitcom when she was 43 in 2002. She's now living at least 64. It's worse than ordinary fornication, and that's bad enough. <laughs> Mrs. Harris from the farm says that they should all be castrated. She says her husband would gladly... Anyway, I'm getting better at that. The benefit is that anything, any other dialogue, non-medical... Boyd Clark was born on March 7, 1951, in Vancouver, Canada. He played the character Sergeant Ball in the sitcom when he was 51 in 2002. He's now living happily at 72. He's going through. Sexual experimentation is the norm with youngsters. I mean, my daughter indulges in all sorts of stuff. She had a team of itinerant Irish ladies. The, the, the aftermath of World War II was everywhere. It, it, it resonated. There were a lot of people who actually fought in the war and they were back, you know. Philip Maydog was born on July 5, 1934, in Merthyr Tidfil, Glamorgan, Wells. He played Anorin Stardy in the sitcom when he was 68 in 2002. We regret to inform you that in 2012, he passed away at 77, leaving us deeply saddened. He visited see in case it spreads. <laughs> well, that's amazing. As you would have thought that a pretty young thing like Elsie would have ended up a leper. Aye. <laughs> Over the years, yeah. But one of these, no, no. Really. So, what, what? How do you? How, what's what's the well, atmosphere like? Well, the atmosphere is splendid. I mean, it is really exciting. Mm. Victor Spinetti was born on September second, nineteen twenty nine, in Wales. He played the character Daniel Gold in the sitcom when he was seventy six in two thousand five. We regret to inform you that in twenty twelve he passed away at eighty two, leaving us deeply saddened. I didn't lose it. It was never there. <sighs> I lost. A daughter and a son, and my wife died. Uh, how old are you? 34. Uh, were you adopted? So, well, you know, so I've got my back in here, it feels forward. And that's it for what, what, what was your first <laughs> impression of them? Of, of George? Well, I was your man. Pauline McLean was born on July 11, 1962, in Sligo, Ireland. She played Esmeralda in the sitcom when she was 45 years old in 2007. She's now living at least 61. Have you found her? Actually, I'm a bit of a fan. That's where I was the other day, at her book signing. Well, I'm very surprised to hear that, Father. I didn't think you'd like that sort of thing. <laughs> We've done, you know, in Father Ted. I, I think there's that. And I also believe uh, that we got the word fake, um, yeah. which, as we know, is not... Steve Mill was born on September 24th, 1977, in Swansea, UK. He played the character Hoffman in the sitcom when he was 25 years old in 2002. He's now living at late 46. Peace and love's where I'm at. You, uh, you live around here, do you? Uh, we live with Richard Applewhite and his mom. Robert Blythe was born on June 12, 1947, 
in Port Talbot, UK. He played the character of Fagin in the sitcom when he was 55 in 2002. We regret to inform you that in 2018, he passed away 71, leaving us deeply saddened. Yet. No, oh, it's this thing with spider riches, man. It made me realize how unfair the world is. There's us. Chris Neese was born on March 12, 1954, in Neathport, Talbot, Wales. He played Chris Desire in the sitcom when he was 49 years old in 2003. We regret to inform you that in 2020, he passed away 66, leaving us deeply saddened. My husband died. He, he was a prisoner of war with the Japs and they jumped up and down on his stomach with their boots on. Oh, painful. Yes. He had his legs. Isowin Morris was born on August 26, 1920, in Swansea, UK. He played the character of Vicar in the sitcom when he was 85 years old in 2005. We regret to inform you that in 2011, he passed away at 90, leaving us deeply saddened. My spirit is weak. Help me, a miserable sinner, a slave of honor, the lowest of all your creatures. Sharon Morgan was born on August 29, 1949, in Lanny Faylock, UK. She played the character Professor Blunt in the sitcom when she was 67 years old in 2006. Now she's living happily 74. You have to have that side of it in the film, otherwise it's, it doesn't have you know, that, that truth, which, which was hugely, hugely uh, relevant in the... Tell me who is your favorite character in the sitcom High Hopes and share your thoughts about the deceased actors by leaving your comments below this video. Remember to support us by liking, subscribing to the channel, and pressing the bell to receive my upcoming videos. Thank you and see you again.